Hello everyone on the internet and thanks for tuning in. This is Ryu Kiva from Ryu Kiva Toku with another Toku unboxing. Today it's with an SS figure. It is Kamen Rider Double Cyclone Joker. I'm actually quite excited about this one. I don't know why. I mean, I always love opening an SS figure when it comes around to it. Uh, but this note, they're the seals. Uh, price, you know, it's a bit, but a bit of a joke really. Uh, I think I got this for around maybe 16,000 yen, 16, 18,000 yen. And that is the price looking for it new. Maybe second hand used, you're looking maybe 11,000 if you're lucky. And I think that's kind of the rule of thumb with all SS figures right now. And so, I guess looking at the packaging, a uh, grainy picture of the front as per, a um, couple of the typical poses on the back very little english as per the ss boxes cyclone joker sh figure arts toey seal of approval all right enough talking let's get on with the unboxing all right so i'm going to use my scissors on this because i left my knife over there all right uh there we go easy does it as per the rider box as per the ss boxes and so gets to see the light of day let's have a look at the inlay me again i can I me mean, even looking at the figure through the plastic the green really stands out so it looks like he's got one two three four five six at least he has six hands that's well six pairs of hands that's an even number i'm assuming it's five you know two fists and then five additional i'm assuming that's two sets of the scarf Gaia Memories, see I do remember what Gaia Memories are, apparently he's got it an attachment into the side belt as well. So, that's the rider. Oh and of course, because one side's green and one side's black, purple, so you, you can definitely know which hand's which, I mean again, so you're not really going to get them on the wrong hands unless you're doing that on purpose. So, let's have a look at this figure, I'm actually quite excited about this. The detail is definitely very good. I mean, the ironic thing is when I was in Japan earlier this year, I did nearly buy the regular SHF, but then some guy beat me to it. It's like, because I looked at it, I put it back on the shelf, and then some guy came along and bought it. I'm like, damn it. And it must have been second hand, because it was like a 2,000 yen figure. And again, it was it must have been second hand. It was in Akihabara. But I am now looking, I am now holding the SS... Carmen Rider double, so in his face, even though I would have spent like what 10 times the amount. Yeah, I've already popped off the shoulder pad. Uh, I'm gonna try and put that back on. I'm trying I, again now. I'm questioning whether the other SS's had uh, like movable shoulder pads because again, it's very common in SHF, and again, I'm always whining about it. Again, detail in the helmet. I mean, again, it's a very minimal design in the helmet, but the eyes always have it. Um, feeling the limbs uh, again it's starting to feel very shelly kind of how the shoulder pads feel maybe this isn't the greatest SHF, uh, SS figure rather I mean I'm start yeah and again I'm gonna pull away the plastic I mean looking at the belt um, I can't remember the name of the belt I remember the name of the guy memories um, looking at his belt was it the double driver oh well just shows I am definitely not just a professional, but an expert. Um, bendy, I mean, the toes kind of, they, I mean, they're supposed to bend, but the green one's not bending, neither's the black. <laughs> actually, the black one does a bit. All right, so that's, it actually feels like rubbery, actually. But the, ah, there we go, the green one's a bit stiff on this one. Again, I'm sure it's probably just this exact figure rather than a problem throughout the production line. I mean, the armour on the chest does, I mean, look at those rocking abs, mate. Um, yeah, I mean, he's got, you know, he's quite flexible, you know, standard flexibility, I'd say. Let's have a look at the balance on his own quickly. I mean, I can't... I mean, the thing is, I'm always replicating some of Double's poses when I'm in the club and stuff, because I'm a joker. Ha! Joker! Anyway, um... Alright. So, I don't know what pose this is, but I'm not going to lie, the balancing's not that great on this. Which is a bit of a shame for an SS. Um... 
Nope, the balancing's work. I mean, again, it feels quite shelly. He's got, like, a lot of plates on him. I mean, that's a pose of sorts. Right? Uh, let's have a quick look at Again, he's got scarves. He's got five pair, five additional pairs of hands, including... the very. That's the very famous hand I can see right there. Um... I mean, what's the point in doing this site? Yeah, he's got the two guy memories, Cyclone and Joker. Uh, I'm going to show it with my left hand with the short nails on my hand. Don't know if you can see anything about it. I don't really see the point. Uh, there he goes. <laughs> really tiny. Oh, yeah, plus I can't even remember which... I guess the green goes on the green side and the black goes on the black side. Can't even see. Right. Uh... I mean, again, he's got the side belt, which um, which doesn't appear that it comes off. I mean, I guess you can put that in there. So I'll put the green one in there, for example. Yeah, that slots right in there, all right. But then, I don't know. Is it, let's have a look at the driver. Yeah, I mean, it's... Oh, yeah, and again, I'll, I, I was getting around to it. So, yeah, at least the belt, I mean, as per, folds up, folds down. And just for, again, I can't even remember how he looks when he's fully henshined. But yeah, it's actually splayed outwards, because I think he puts it in and he flicks it down, if I remember correctly, probably not. But all right, I'm gonna put so I'm gonna put the guy memories in, just for the sake of it. Actually, you can really see, I mean, the detail does actually look better. Yeah, like, the closer you inspect it, the more you can see. So like, he does have like little plastic windows, so you can see like the Gaia Memory logos right there. That's actually quite cool, if you think about it. So yeah, that's how it's, so he puts them in, flicks it down, henshin! Right, I'm definitely going to put this hand on right now, as it's here. And again, I'm going to really, how, how is it supposed to look? Nope. <laughs> right, so this is going to be a rubbish, does he look down like that? I don't know. This just shows how much I actually remember the show. I mean, when it comes to the show, I really did enjoy the show. Um, I mean, because it was more like, to be fair, I didn't really see it too much like a Carmen Rider show. It was more like a detective J-drama with a bit of Carmen Rider stuff shoehorned in. No, that's a Kabuto pose, really. Kabuto pose. I think you know, my grandmother told me this. Anyway, um, I'll put a scarf on. Um, short one to begin with. Again, they've I don't know. I don't know why, but they've deliberately put the hole just on the green side rather than in the middle or whatever. I guess his scarf only blew on the green side. Her, count up your crimes. Uh, I think. Actually, and even where I've put that scarf on and I've not really balanced the feet, he's actually balanced. I mean, I think this isn't the first figure that I've had that's done, that's been like that, where it becomes better balanced with adding stuff. Uh, he's got the long scarf, though. Rah! This is, like, from the intro or something. I mean, that is, I mean that's a lot bigger, and I don't really know how many poses you could do. It's, and the balance has gone way off, I can feel that. So you've got to spread the legs a bit. Count up your crimes. All right. All right. Chill, blood. All right. Um. Maybe try some. Try a different black hand. I mean, this is it. He's got like claspy hands. One of his five is claspy hands. But it's like when you got those tiny Gaia memories. I mean, I've I've read about so many people losing like all the little bits. So. Uh, just for the sheer hell of it, and just to finish the video, um, actually, I'll, I'll replace this, the long scarf with the short scarf. I'll have it blowing. Oh, and actually, there's a joint in the scarf. That's actually not too bad, actually. So even though it's biased to the green side, I'll have it blowing over the black side, because whatever. Just to finish this V, Joe. Right, getting that, <laughs> right, getting that out is not going to be easy. Right, yep, that's the guy memory. Putting it in his hand. I don't know why I do... Right, I'll just do normal legs. 
Oh man, this 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 thing is so hard to balance. All right, just to finish off, I'm spreading the legs a little bit. I'm not entirely sure what sort of pose that is or how it's ended up, but that's me reviewing it. Again, just to round off, like there's literally good detail head to toe, massive abs. Uh, the belt does have good painted detail, so do the guy memories. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Please follow, like and subscribe to this channel, support me on Patreon as well as on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Ryuki Votoku. My blog and fan sub page is at ryukivotoku.wordpress.com, links are in the description. SH figure arts are not for children, suitable for ages 14 plus. See you next time.